when we were playing or when I was playing to, to be able to capitalize on some of that. New at 11, two Ohio Bills have its aim at allowing student athletes to make money by profiting off their name, image, and likeness. But it's not a sure thing just yet. Lawmakers in Columbus are throwing some last minute curveballs to the bill. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Rowell spoke with former college athletes on the impact the legislation could have on so many. The effort to have student athletes profit off of their name, image and likeness has bipartisan support here in Ohio. That's not the issue. Instead, what lawmakers can't agree on is what's being tacked on to the bill. Tony Pike remembers his playing days like yesterday. Growing up in Cincinnati, seeing uh, things like my jersey in the bookstore was more of a dream come true at the time because that's something I grew up as a kid going and getting those jerseys. The star quarterback for the University of Cincinnati also remembers the long hours, the gym, studying mandatory check ins and practices. No time for an extra job and no time for extra money. You want to go out to dinner with friends. You want to, to do nice stuff for yourself or your family. And and this this will allow that stuff to finally happen. He says student athletes should be able to make some money through endorsements, autographs and social media advertisements. I follow athletes in college on, on social media and they're already putting stuff out there. You know, hey, if, if this passes, when this passes, if you want me to represent your brand somehow, you know, send me a direct message, get in touch with this person. It, it is, uh, to me, it's already, the, the, the ball's already rolling. Ohio lawmakers are trying to push the ball through the hoop with two possibilities, Senate Bill 187 and House Bill 29. Let's break both down. The Senate bill passed with bipartisan support. When it went to the House, a Republican lawmaker tacked on a last minute amendment, the Save Women's Sports Act. And that's the center of some controversy in Columbus. The amendment would allow schools to ban transgender women and girls from playing women's sports. Democratic representatives called it, quote, one of the most extreme political attacks on transgender people in the nation, end quote. Then there's House Bill 29, what was supposed to be a bill expanding Ohio veteran cards. The Senate tacked on sports betting as well as the name, image, and likeness amendment to the bill. State Senator Naraj Antani sponsored the original Senate bill, saying, quote, I can continue to strongly pursue legislation to ensure student athletes receive in the law their rights to their own name, image and likeness by the July 1st deadline. There are a lot of different options for men, women, whatever sport you play to go out there and make money off of what you do best. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.